today it is all about barbecue. I'm talking brisket, pulled pork, ribs. We are north of Auckland City in Matakana and we're taking you behind the scenes of Smoke Junction Barbecue, this place that we only found last week. The food is epic, let's get into it. This is a great setup here. We've got a little sort of food truck trailer where all the prep is done, and then a not so little barbecue, a smoker, and oh my gosh, you should smell the air right now, full of that beautiful smoke coming out of there. Meat's all cooking up. I can't wait for a massive meat feast. We only discovered this place last week. We drove past, went, there's a barbecue joint, came the next day for a feed and we just knew after a couple of bites that we had to share this spot with you. It is a great looking menu and I think what we're going to do is just order one of everything so you can see what this is all about. Behind the scenes at Smoke Junction Barbecue, I'm with Steve Marsden, who's the owner-operator of this joint. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Uh, thank you. We've eaten your food before. It is bloody phenomenal. <laughs> what do you barbecue? Uh, so I've got brisket, pulled pork, ribs, uh, St. Louis cut ribs, like pork, and pork belly at the minute. And then on a Sunday, I do like little specials with my burgers. I'll use all the offcuts of the brisket, grind them up, Make like little smash burgers, like so because you're not going to be here Sunday. So I've got a little taste for you. Oh yeah! Well, uh, new one coming out Sunday tomorrow. So awesome. So we're just going to get one of every meat, half a rack of ribs, all the sides, two sauces. I think I am addicted to your special sauce. Oh, the gold sauce. It's called the gold sauce. Junction gold Serious. sauce. Seriously, <laughs> this junction gold sauce has to be tasted to be believed. I could have drunk it by the cupful. It was so good. I said to Steve, you've got to bottle it and sell it. And he was like, but then I have to let everyone know what the ingredients are. And you just have to get here and taste it for yourself. Beans come straight off the pit. I'll just leave this in there for four or five hours. Oh my god, hell yes. Look at this, this lineup of epic food, and I've just been handed a bit of the brisket. Cheers. Oh, sorry. I, I'm not standing on ceremony. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god. It melts in your mouth. That is. It's just top notch. Thank you. I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. So these are the, this is the, what well, you make burnt ends out of. Uh -huh. So these are the, this is the, these are the golden nuggets. Cameraman, would you like trouble? Look at this spread. Gigantic meat feast. Pork belly, brisket, pork ribs, brioche sliders, mac and cheese, pickles, those pit beans, smoky as anything, potato salad, and then red onion, pickled red onions, and the famous Junction Gold sauce. Yes, yes, yes. There's more food coming, but we're going to get into this first. St. Louis smoked pork ribs in the smoker for five plus hours. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So smoky, a little bit fatty. The meat is just moist and tender as anything. I'm gonna grab a piece of this pork belly. Incredible layers of fat and meat that rub on the top. Wow. Mm. That is truly delicious. It's everything you want when you go for barbecue. That's what I like about this place. 
it does exactly what you want it to do. It's perfectly cooked, it's super juicy, the flavors are ex just, they just explode in your mouth. Let's chuck a bit into this, this special house-made gold sauce. That gold sauce has just made perfect even better. The meat is perfect, the flavors are incredible, and then you dip it in that gold sauce soury spicy punch to it i honestly i don't want to explain it too much to you because i want you to come here and eat it that's how good it is it's tangy it's spicy it's peppery it is a stunning dipping sauce oh man this is so yum why barbecue oh i've been doing it since i was a kid so i don't know i love it um you said you did you barbecue with your granddad many many years ago that's what got me into it yeah. So I was just like, I don't know, you get hooked on that thing, but then you don't realize where it will take you in the long run. So yeah, it's nice. And how good is this collection of sides? Those amazing looking beans, the classic macaroni cheese, and then this potato salad. The recipe he's been working on for 15 years. Jeez, that is good. Oh, it's got so much going on. It, it's a tang of sourness to it. It's got the perfect amount of seasoning. Oh, mm. that is absolutely delicious potato salad. What's your favorite side? Uh, my the potato salad, obviously. That was my mum's recipe. I've been tweaked for like 15 or so years. Love that. So she might kill me when she tries it. <laughs> <laughs> what have what you done? What have you done? What have you done? Look at this place. It's my kind of eating experience. A couple of picnic ta tables by the side of the road. You've got the static food truck, the smoker there. So you're getting that, that aroma of the meat smoking as you eat. And then you're out in the fresh air chowing down on this kind of food. I've got my eye on the brisket burnt ends. Ho ho ho. And I'm going to dunk it in that junction gold sauce. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Holy moly, that single bite of meat, utterly delectable. Again, melts in your mouth, it's so tender, the fat just sort of oozes into your mouth. Been a lot of perfects in this video, I feel, but. It just is. Everything about this meal is damn delicious. How long are the meat smoking for? The pork from five hours to seven. So like the ribs, I'll do those for five. Uh, pulled pork can be up to seven hours. Pork belly, five or six. And then the brisket's a good 24 hour process. It'll be smoking for 10 plus hours. And then I rest it and then, yeah. These pit beans came straight from the smoker. Tomato sauce base, there's capsicum, there's onion, pinto beans. Mm. Oh, they're good. A little bit sweet. Like a sourness there as well, from maybe vinegar, a hit of vinegar. And a really creamy tomato tomato -y sauce. And those beans are delicious. They're not just mush, there's still a little bit of texture to them, but oh yeah, that is a great side. The meat is super rich. So you've got these sides which just, you know, they're pops of vibrancy, I guess. And you go back and forth between the two and it's just like an amazing meal creamy mac and cheese, creamy potato salad, tangy pickles, and then that meat. Oh, so good.
check out the double ducks. 200 grams of meat in this bad boy uh, brisket. There's Swiss cheese, duck sale, which is like a mushroom mince, butter, thyme, onions, truffle mayo, brioche bun. Let's get into it. A burger with 200 grams of meat in it feels like a burger with 200 grams of meat in it. This is a crazy burger. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Oh, that is delicious. Okay, so a lot of that flavor is about the mushrooms. And they are buttery and herby. And then the meat just sings through under that flavor. Brioche bun, heaps of mayo. Oh man, that is so good. So they only do those on Sundays. It's actually Saturday when we're here, so we've got a special treat to try the burger. And we are lucky to try that. Oh wow, yum. And that's a proper dive right in and just get amongst it burger. Look at that, from one mouthful, I'm covered and I'm so happy about that. Oh yeah. We've got one more item coming and this is a secret off menu item. So it's a bit of a, you know, you gotta know about it to be able to order it. We're gonna slip it in at the end as one more, one more item. And again, 200 grams of meat, but it's pork this time. Oh yeah, thanks mate. Pulled pork sliders, 200 grams of pulled pork and those brioche sliders, pepper mayo, pickled onions, pickles, slices of pickles, and then that gold sauce. Hefty, oh yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Utterly scrumptious. That pulled pork, again, so tender. I love that uh, pepper mayo. It's really, really peppery. The secret off menu item. Oh, it deserves to be ordered. Get here and try this. We are truly happy that we've found this place. The food is stunning. It is such a winner of a barbecue joint. And I think the best advertisement possible we have seen every time we've been here, which is twice, there's always been Americans coming in. And those Americans, I think, if anyone can judge good, you know, smoke barbecue food, it's gotta be Americans. And they're all coming here. They're all telling us when we're chatting to them here, these are the best ribs in Auckland. This is the best barbecue in Auckland. Um, they want people to know about it and I see why because it is absolutely unbelievably good. We will be here time and time again. Make the trip here, yeah. eat this food. We hope you've enjoyed the video. We hope you've enjoyed these visuals of the stunning meat being pulled apart, coming out of the smoker. It is damn good. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, drop us a comment, hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching. Share this one around if you've enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching guys.